Therefore, the father shall eat the son in the midst of thee, and the son shall eat their father. And I will execute judgment in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter into all the wind. Going back to Deuteronomy 28, chapter 9, and thank you. Precept upon precept. Here and little, there though, not to say, oh, that's where I stopped them off. You do not understand the scripture. This is how you get the understanding right. of the scripture. Exactly right. Exactly right. Now, we got some play. Yeah, we some Isaiah 43 and 5. Yep. Fear not, for I am with you. And I will bring thy seed from the east. Ooh. And gather thee from the west. That's right. Say to the Lord, give up to the south. Keep not back. He gave all the directions that are coming. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling you that we're going to be everywhere. Right, go ahead. Bring my son from the cross. My Lord is from the end of the earth. Right. It just reiterates it over and over and over and over. You're not denying this. Because great fear is falling upon them that see it, they send out their little flunkies to try to go go see what they talk about. Go film on live and then they, the shadow people behind the scenes watch the videos and they say, okay, we gotta we need somebody to teach this now. They'll teach that. You can do whatever you want to do. This word is prevailing. It's still waking waking men up. As you see, let's bring it in the brothers from the nation. So it don't make them you know the brothers that feel like scattered them on the nation. Let me rephrase that. Now let's go to home. Also, there's a controversy about this Egypt, and we know there's a, another place called Egypt in the future that the Israelites will go to. Let's get into that captivity too, because they also say that see, it said that no man shall buy you. Did Israelites go into slavery? And the answer is yes, they did. That by me. Like the Lord said before, 
because when the Lord was on the earth walking the sand, he spoke in parables. So what you think is men are we speaking in parables as well too? Because you just can't get it. And that's and that's the whole reason why I'm talking to the Lord in the face that they're not gonna get to understand. Because he put it, he put it. Everybody can just run with it. No, this is, this is an exclusive club. By the way whereby spake us, what does that mean? It means that he said that we're gonna go to slavery in ships. That's the way that he said that we're gonna go. By ship. Read that again. That part. By the way whereof I spoken to thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see thy homeland no more again. Even though it didn't say it right there, we know that that's what it means. Because when you when we got scattered, the Israelites never went back to Israel. <laughs> People of thy holiness have possessed it, but for a little while yeah. our adversaries have trodden down thy right. sanctuary. Right. See? So we only had the Holy Land for a little while. Thou shalt see it no more again. Went from captivity to captivity to captivity. And the dude admitted that Israel went into different captivities, but why did they do it? Because it's written in the curses that they will go into captivity among the nations. And they did it time and time again. Okay? Go ahead, bro. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Yep. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee. And that's the way that he spoke of in ship. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. Yep. And there and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. Now when you look up that word, no man shall buy you there, when you look up buy you, one of the definitions of is to redeem. To buy it back, so it, it was obviously it wasn't talking about no man shall purchase you. How you gonna be sold as slaves, but then nobody did purchase you? So then you ain't you were never a slave then. Right. So we know that Israelites went into captivity. I got a quick piece there on that on that part when we get spiritual Egypt. This proves that Israelites were sold as slaves. Baruch four and verse five it says, "Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel." Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved God to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. See? Plain. Plain black and white. So the Israelites did get sold into slavery. And there are other accounts of them getting sold. We'll get into that a little bit. But let's go to spiritual Egypt. So now, is there another place called Egypt where the Israelites are seen present? Yeah. Even to the end of time? Because then he made a statement, even when dealing with the physical Egypt, why would the Lord have us get on cargo slaves to go to Egypt and we could get walked here. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. So all the things that we bring it out, like if you have a map, you can see that we didn't go back on ships. All you, it's, it's common sense. When people try to come and debunk these curses, man, you can't do it. You can't do it, man. You just reach it at the end of the day. Deuteronomy 28, 
verse 49, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. And, uh, and let me chime in on that, man. What's America's animal symbol, man? The eagle. What's Rome, what was Rome's symbol? The eagle. The eagle. What was yeah, Egypt's yeah. symbol? The, the eagle. eagle. Right. And, and just to further elaborate, uh, when speaking of that, hey, that's the Roman Empire he's speaking of. Yeah. yeah. That just said that I, I got to put a piece of that. He's speaking of the Roman Empire. Speaking of, that was Roman Empire. At, yeah. at a time, the Israelites did go into captivity in the Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In America. So, right. So now what they call Trump? Eagle face. Yeah. 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 That's what they call it. Yeah. You look on the, on the back of your uh, chain, like the quarter. Yeah. It's, a, it's a big eagle on the yeah. back yeah. of your quarter. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's, now, that's regular. Yeah. 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 Like, you know. Some now, people don't know, but if you, you're a little bit open, you know if that eagle is something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, when the brother said that, that eagle is the Roman Empire, and it's also the last leg of the Roman Empire, which is American NATO and the EU, that great red dragon, which the officer didn't want to deal with. Yeah. He worked, he worked for him. Now, this is the savior, right? He's speaking to the Roman Empire, where the Israelites are. Are part of, you know, well, <laughs> the end, when the end comes, the, the, the revived Roman Empire is in power. This is uh, 2nd Edges 11. And verse 36, it says, uh, verse 37, I beheld and lo, as it were, a roaring lion chased out of the wood. And I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle. Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee, Art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their time might come to the book of Daniel, talk about the four beasts that you got. Go ahead, go ahead. Daniel 7, verse 7, it says, After this I saw in the night visions, behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth, it devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. And this is speaking of uh, the Roman Empire, because when the Roman Empire uh, came into play right after the Greeks, they weren't like all the other nations before. They were stronger than the other nations before. That's why they ruled majority of the earth. Now that's why they had most of the earth at that at that time. That that that, that rim. Right. Still in place. Second leg. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see the differentiation of it now is he said it ruled almost the whole earth back then, but then it stretched into the whole earth now. Because it says in Revelation that um, uh, that were passed and have power over the over the world with great filthiness and over the whole compass of the earth with much, with much wicked oppression. Right the earth is given it to the hand of the wicked. 